yes, you see it correctly. I am, or we are gonna make a roll wrapped in, well, you would think bacon, normally you can go bacon, but this time we go air dried ham. And I think the one thing it looks the most at would be a salt and bokeh. Now I know what you think, salt and bokeh, my God, no, please, please, no. But I will show you tricks and like explain it and show it to you how easily it actually can be. So I will stop for now this part and let's dive right in. Now I know you got veal salt in bokeh, you can do cod if you want, some do pork. Um, I feel like the generalization term for salt in boca is something protein like fish or chicken or whatever wrapped in air dried ham or something like that and well we are gonna do maybe it a little bit step further but we're gonna use chicken and no specific reason I just wanted to try chicken and I'm gonna use mushroom filling with it and this is actually a pretty easy way I would say and I will explain to you why um, but first off let's start get the cook uh, going so I'm using a mushroom filling which means that uh, since mushrooms has a lot of liquid or juices inside it we need to keep frying it until all the mushrooms is gone so you want it as dry as possible so I'm cutting up an onion, fry that with the mushrooms, uh, add, add some salt, pepper, thyme, rosemary if you want some extra flavor, some garlic, a delicious richness, and you just keep frying it until all the liquid is gone. So like when you heat up the mushrooms, the it will cook and then it will release liquid and then you need to keep doing that until it's really dry. And if you think it's dry enough, then a little bit further preferably but you're almost there and that's enough now that needs to cool down so the biggest part here is why I say this is probably the easier way it's because I'm gonna grab a chicken I'm gonna hammer it down with my uh, hammer meat hammer and what I'm gonna do with the mushrooms, instead of adding mushrooms right away, I am gonna add it with chicken minced meat. Now, here is why I said input protein here, because you can do it with beef and then you just grab minced meat. Then you can do it with pork and you grab just normal minced meat, um, things like that. And then you just, in this case, the mushrooms, you mix that with the minced meat that you will see and then you can roll that inside the chicken and then you use the pork, uh, the air dried ham to keep everything nicely tied together. And there's another effect to it now. So as where air dried ham starts to 
fry, it gets crispier. But the other effect, what you want is because of the minced meat that is inside, you don't want it to keep raw, so it, and it needs to be filled a little bit longer. That's why minced meat is so amazing, so that it has a shorter cooking time since it's so fine texture and thin already compared to like normal chicken breasts. It won't need as long, but it the air dried ham or the bacon outside will keep the chicken breasts on the inside also more juicy because all the juices of the minced meat cannot escape. So it's kind of steaming itself while keeping it nice and juicy and so it doesn't dry out. Now you can eat this with potatoes and everything in the world. I just wanted to show you how nice and delicious it can be. I probably will make one in the winter as well, maybe a bit more hardier version, but that's it for now. Have a nice day.